In this lesson, we are going to finish off section 7.1 and 7.2, if you're in my class, uh, with the key ideas of quadratic functions in standard form. And we have looked at a number of things. <clears throat> so how uh, A is related to the shape and, and all these different characteristics. So just quickly to summarize, uh, the standard form of a quadratic function is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a cannot equal 0 because then it would no longer be a quadratic function if a was 0 because the x squared term would not exist. Uh, next key idea is that the shape of a quadratic function is called a parabola and has the following characteristics when in standard form. Uh, characteristic 1, the vertex is the highest, which can also be called a maximum. And if you're in my class, you may want to pause this to copy this all out. I know I'm going quickly. <clears throat> or the lowest minimum point uh, on the parabola. So a maximum would look something like this, and a minimum would look something like this. Okay, so those could be the vertex. The axis of symmetry is a vertical line that passes through the vertex. So the axis of symmetry, if I drew a uh, parabola that opens up, let's say, the axis of symmetry is this vertical line that I have dotted here in purple <clears throat> that passes through the vertex. The equation of that axis of symmetry is always x is equal to the x-coordinate of the vertex. So if this vertex was, say, 2, 4, then the equation of the axis of symmetry would be x equals 2. So it's always the x-coordinate of the vertex. Uh, third characteristic, when a quadratic function is in standard form, if a is greater than 0 or positive, so if a is positive, the parabola opens up. So in other words, like this. Okay. If a is less than 0 or negative, the parabola opens down, or like this. Uh, the constant term c, so the value c, the constant, uh, is always equal to the y-intercept. And if it doesn't exist, then the y-intercept is 0. Uh, the fourth characteristic has to do with the domain. The domain for a quadratic function is almost always all real numbers. So you can give a quadratic function any input value, unless it is a word problem. Word problems, you need to consider the context. So if you look at the previous lesson, we looked at word problems. And you can't go, if you're doing a word problem with time, you can't go back in time. So the domain may be restricted. But usually, if it's not a word problem, it's going to be all real numbers. Uh, as far as the range goes, the range will either be y is greater than or equal to the minimum value, or y is less than or equal to the maximum value, which is the y value of your particular vertex. And finally, characteristic 6 is that the parabola is symmetrical, and this can be used to solve problems. So if we know that one half of the parabola is symmetrical to the other one, we can use that to answer any symmetry-related questions.